Hello everyone and welcome to our storytelling video from Skinwalkers and Mysterious Things Happen in House. We're going to be diving deep into these stories. So don't forget to give us a like and subscribe or follow our page on Facebook. Number 3. Night with the Dogs I have a lot of strange friends if it isn't apparent already. During my high school, I made friends desperately, I might add, with everyone I might have the smallest chance relating to. In that pursuit, I made a friend with what other people would call the rejects. One of them was very much a best friend until we started growing apart. She was in love with guns, vampires, metal, and black clothes. She was rough but well mean. We bonded over our love for scary stories and experience. She invited me to a football game but ended up fighting with one of our friends over something really stupid. I ended up staying too late and asked my parents if I could stay at her place. This happens a lot. I really don't like it anyways. To her house, a smelly trailer decorated with her likes and her dogs. Let's go into my room, I nodded and followed. At one end of the trailer was a bathroom, her room, her brother's room. As we're crossing her brother's room, I felt a shiver crawl down my back. His door was closed upon looking at it. I went into her room, small, full of stuff, with snakes as well. My attention kept going towards the room, and I finally asked her, where's your brother? Hmm, oh well, he's in training. Sometimes I sleep in there, but lately I haven't. Do you want to know why? Before I could respond, she asked, Don't freak out, okay? That's what happened to her, meaning our friend, the one she fought her with earlier. I simply nodded, I wish I had it. Well, she came here last week, like you, and we ended up watching anime and stuff in my brother's room, because he has a TV. Anyways, she got up to go use the restroom. When she did, she said there was something in the hallway, like a small person crouching, watching us. She screamed and it ran away. I used to sleep in there, but one night I woke up and my mattress was floating, floating like someone was holding it up. I could feel it through the mattress. She scratched her head. I don't think it's anything though. What do you think? One of my friends came to me earlier this morning at school, clearly excited. Hey, hey, guess what? What I did last night? What'd you do? She smiled and whispered. I went hunting for skinwalkers with my dad. The back of my neck shivered. Really? Um, honestly, I was scared and curious. Why would someone purposely seek out that thing? She nodded and told me what happened. Her and her father decided to catch a skinwalker. Both were thrilled in discovery. They picked the area famous for violence, the Choke Cherry Canyon, and pitch a tent. The real thing they needed, though, was a dead dog. They found one on the side of the road. You can easily find things in the reservation. They threw it in front of their tent with their rifles and shotgun ready. They dozed off for a bit, then woke up immediately. Something was scratching at the tent. Quietly, they prepared themselves. They drew back the tent flap and shot at it. It was halfway through the skin. It was freaky, like a dog, but human. My stomach lurched. That wasn't something I needed to know for breakfast. Anyways, we shot at it, and the bullet didn't even enter the skin. It threw off the skin and ran away. As it ran away, it turned into a coyote, a mountain lion, and finally a deer. I nodded. Was that the end? No, we're planning to go back again tomorrow, she said. Number one. Not on the screen. My roommate told me this once. Her family lived further in the reservation on their own ranch, complete with nearby mountains, forests. Not everyone likes to visit or stay in that matter. One night, her uncle been hunting mountain lions. It's a popular myth that when a mountain lion screams, they often sound like women in extreme pain. 
They didn't think much of it and walked by. Out of the corner of his eyes, he sees one, it's crouched low to the ground, but quickly he puts the scope to his eyes, breathes, and shoots. It's hits. The lion let out a horrifying scream and scrambled to get away as the uncle tried to follow. Soon he reaches the cave. He walks with the flashlight determined to get his kill and he didn't spend much time in the forest for the waste. He reaches the edge of the cave, then huddled, shaken, was a woman. She was naked and he could clearly see blood oozing from the wound leg, the exact spot that he shot the mountain lion. Don't kill me, she pleaded. Then my uncle turned and left. Since then, he doesn't hunt at the ranch anymore. Those are three scary stories from the reservation. If you like these stories, give us a like. And don't forget to subscribe to us as well. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.